Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. I have some new spicy secret sauce for you all in today's quick update concerning the upcoming and unannounced RTX 3050 Ti. I know many of my viewers are excited for the 50 series of cards and I get a ton of comments asking for more details about it and I'm happy to say that with these leaks we now have a clear insight on performance and release dates. Of course take all this information with a grain of salt but keep in mind that the individual who shared these leaks, Copite7, has had a great track record record so far, so this news is certainly exciting for those who have been patiently waiting. And after months of no new information about the 50 tier of Nvidia's GPUs, I was honestly starting to get anxious that there might be some sort of internal issue causing a delay beyond what anyone expected. But then literally this morning we got this new information that sparked the hype for these GPUs once again. But before we begin, make sure you annihilate that like button if you enjoy the video so that way YouTube shows this new information to others who might enjoy it as well. Your support literally means the world and I very much appreciate appreciate all of you guys and what you do. Anyway, let's just get right into it. What do we know so far about the RTX 3050 Ti and what has been said? Well, starting with specs, the RTX 3050 Ti is said to have 3,584 CUDA cores with 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM running on a 192-bit memory bus. Now, I know many will be disappointed to hear that they didn't go up to the 8 gigabyte capacity like the RTX 3060 Ti and 3060 are rumored to have, and I really don't blame you. I personally would was expecting at least 8 gigabytes of the slower VRAM for the 3050 Ti at least, with 6 gigabytes being reserved for the non-TI RTX 3050. Of course, time will tell what ends up being true or not, but the 6 gigabytes of VRAM rumors have been consistent since last June when the first RTX 3050 rumors started to appear in more detail. But as far as performance goes, if we look at the CUDA cores and exclude memory bandwidth performance deltas, we can paint a performance picture of the 3050 Ti, and it looks like the RTX 3050 Ti is around 40% slower than the RTX 3070. But in turn, that makes the RTX 3050 Ti perform on par with an RTX 2060 Super. If you think about it, with the RTX 3070 performing on par with last generation's RTX 2080 Ti and the unannounced upcoming RTX 3060 Ti and 3060 non-Ti said to be on par with the RTX 2080 Super and RTX 2070 Super respectively, these first glance performance comparisons kind of just connect the dots here. And if we continue this trend, and downwards, that would make the base RTX 3050 around GTX 1660 Super levels of performance. On top of these improved performance levels, another thing to keep in mind is that having the RTX designation means that Nvidia will be bringing ray tracing and DLSS features to Nvidia's entry level cards for the first time. This will allow all levels of players to experience the performance that Ampere provides while also experiencing new graphical details that were impossible before, all for the price tag that is said to be between 200 and 250 US dollars at launch for the RTX. RTX 3050 Ti and $150 to $200 for the RTX 3050. Now those of you who have been waiting anxiously for these cards to be released will be sad to hear that the RTX 3050 Ti is set to launch early next year instead of later this year with target launch dates said to be between mid-January and late February with the RTX 3050 non-Ti to follow shortly sometime after in March. I'm going to be very hopeful here and say that maybe the supply and demand issues we've been seeing with all of Nvidia's other Ampere cards launched thus far will be minimal but with the state of the world, it's really hard to say. I will of course try to get my hands on one for benchmarks and reviews on this channel, and I will definitely cross my fingers for all of you guys as well. But I want to know what you all think about these rumors. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section, and I'll be sure to engage with all of you. But that's really all I have for you guys in today's update. As always fam, please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video.